get back here. Come on, frog. Get back here, dude. Uh oh. <laughs> there you are, guys. Uh, welcome back. Uh, all right, where'd you go now? Come back in. Uh, the frog may have got away, but season six has not. We're back in Fortnite season six, talking about some pretty crazy secret dialogue. We did a whole bunch of videos about secret dialogue last season, but there is one character this season that has some crazy secret dialogue, and we need to talk about it. We are talking about literally multiple secret dialogues that the brand's new NPC Jules actually has with multiple characters from season two. You know, like Midas and the chaos agents. We're discovering the hidden location of Midas's return for season six. Ooh, and a super exciting announcement that we're going to be talking about in this video. Oh, it's exciting. Hey, so a bit about Jules, a bit about Midas, a bit about something else that's uh, pretty fun. Yo, this is going to be a good video. <gasps> Stop. There's another animal in this game that we didn't see coming. I don't know if this one's going to be able to kill me. Oh my goodness, dude. What is that thing? <laughs> Is it coming at me? Ah! <laughs> uh, I'm already playing. Why are you running? Why are you running? <laughs> get him out of here, dog. None of that. Hey, Andrew, get out of here, boy. Get out of here. Hmm. Okay, I need to get all the way over there. You see, between the two mountains, I need to get over there and onto the other side. And there's only one way I know how to get there that quickly. Oh, that's right. Ooh, perfect. Now we can land where we want to. <laughs> oh, and there we go. This is where we need to be. Uh, guys, if you want to support the channel, you can use the support screens code that is on screen right now. And uh, apart from that, let's get into this crazy video. Okay, so there is a lot to get into because we are here talking to Jules and Jules has a bunch of secret dialogue. We talked about Jules in yesterday's video having some secret dialogue, but we didn't know that she actually has secret dialogue for every single character that was in season two. You know, Midas, Meowsaws, the Chaos Agent, oh, even some for season three. So we are going to be interacting with Jules. I'm going to be showing off everything that she's got to say as well as some important Midas related stuff. It is mind-blowing, and it wasn't in yesterday's video. This is something different, but also about Midas. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, if we're gonna start with anyone, why not start off with the big boss man himself, Midas. When you speak to Jules normally, she gives you some kind of helpful tip about keeping your gear tuned up. That's just what she normally says. But when she interacts with Midas, we get the following dialogue. <gasps> oh, good. Father and daughter time? Daughter? Midas. This secret dialogue confirms something we suspected for a while, that the father was Midas, and Jules here is his daughter. Of course, most of us will know Jules for being the character that came in after season two. You know, after Midas' doomsday event, Jules then took over the agency. So players suspected that she somehow was related to Midas, but this uh, secret dialogue right here, father and daughter time, goes to show that Midas is Jules' dad. And we actually talked a little bit about this yesterday, but there was a set separate piece of information that Jules was randomly giving to random players. I still don't know how players actually got this to work because I haven't managed this. But it is in-game. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, Jules, we gotta rattle through them. There's a bunch to get through, so uh, I, I gotta go and uh, get to the next one. Aha, okay. Next up, we got uh, Meowsus. Yo, it's good, Jules. Meowsus, of course, was released back in Season 2. He was like Midas' sidekick, his adorable, muscly sidekick. Meowsus was the kind of best known for being the guy on the yacht that then got kicked off the yacht by Deadpool. That's kind of like his thing. Oh, you know what else might remind you of Meowsus? Uh... <laughs> uh, the, the stuff of nightmares, huh? <laughs> the question is, does Jules have secret dialogue with Meowsus? And the answer, of course, is yes. <gasps> oh, I can never stay mad at you. Because he's adorable. Because he's a giant cat. Yo, this is the second piece of dialogue that Jules actually has with a character from season two. Of course, as we said, not any old character. This is maybe the second most important character of that season. Maybe, maybe. Oh, I can never stay mad at you. Oh, me too, actually. I, I actually love Meowsus. Meowsus might be one of the best characters in Fortnite so far. I'm just saying. Hey, listen, I know the visitor, like, 
like, you know, he saved the world. He saved reality and time and space and all that. You know, he held the zero point together, but uh, does he have muscles like that? I, I don't know. I don't know if the visitor does. I, I, I don't know. Okay, next up, we've got the guy himself, the boss himself, but not Midas. The bad version, the chaos agent. The chaos agent was like the evil villain of season two. You know, we weren't sure at the time. Was Midas the bad guy? Was the chaos agent the bad guy? Well, we didn't really know, but we will know for sure that Jules has a problem with this guy. He is the evil villain of our Fortnite world. And everything that he has done has always been fairly suspicious. <gasps> Stop! Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I actually got something exciting to tell you. This is the exciting news. Hey, did you know? I actually have now a second channel where I'm doing a bunch of Among Us theories and scary investigations. Yo, it is a lot of fun. If you guys do want to check it out, make sure you check the description. Yo, I'm going to be reading through every comment. I'm looking at everything you guys got to say. So, hey, hey, maybe jump over there. Maybe follow it. I'm going to be uploading regularly. So, uh, I don't know. Back to the video. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, Jules. Wasn't that exciting news? Jules. And when we use the Chaos Agent right now, we actually can interact with her. And she's going to give us some secret dialogue that nobody was expecting. Oh, stay away from me, you molten creep. Yo, that's a bit of a harsh word, bro. I'm not that much of a creep. It seems Jules has some harsh words here for the Chaos Agent, but why wouldn't she? Her father was Midas, the arch enemy of the Chaos Agent. And now they're face to face. And she is being very rude. Nobody ever really knew what happened to the Chaos Agent, but it seems like the Midas side of the family still does not like him at all. And I can't blame them. I don't like him as well. <laughs> okay, next up, Tiantina, another character from season two. She was the character that did a lot of the explosions. She had the oil rig. And she was that character. Yeah, I'm excited to see if Jules has something important to say because Tiantina was not a major character. She wasn't Midas. She wasn't Meowsels. She was just one of the characters. So uh, let's see what you got. <gasps> Free tip. Don't forget to keep your... Hey, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. This isn't secret. Ah, the first secret dialogue that isn't a secret dialogue. What is going on, man? I thought you talked to all the season two characters. Huh, maybe just not Tiantina, huh? Actually, some players online have already tested some of these, and there is still a few characters that I don't actually own that have secret dialogue with Jules. Apparently, not every season two character actually has secret dialogue, but um, it seems like most of them do. Here's just some of them online that players have tried and tested that actually work. So I think if you guys want to try it yourself, feel free to uh, go into game and do it. I don't own all the characters from season two. So uh, <laughs> if you guys really want to do it, let me know what you find. Uh, now I was hoping to play the rest of this game out, but uh, I don't really want to play it as Tiantina. You know, we're in season six right now. It's a little confusing to be playing as a season two character. So uh, I, I need a change. Whoop. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Not Oro. Oro was also like season two, no? Bro, why are we Oro? Oh, wait a minute. In the brand new season of season six, there's been this leak floating around already, suggesting that some kind of golden skeleton NPC is going to be coming to our game. Leakers online have been talking about this NPC that is currently not in game, but is scheduled to arrive fairly soon. Now, hey, I don't know about you guys. I don't know that many golden skeletons that are in Fortnite, uh, except, <laughs> except this guy. Oro was released all the way back in season two, and we believed he had some kind of connection with Midas. This was because Midas was the gold king, and Oro is a skeleton made of gold with a golden crown. There was a bunch of other connections between these two characters, but we never found out what Oro was really about. But it's interesting to see that the golden skeleton Oro NPC is gonna be making an appearance this season. You know, a bit like the other NPCs we've been talking with, interacting with, and getting secret dialogue. So we're gonna be able to do that with Oro, the character that we knew nothing about. About. Hey, between you and me, I'm already making my predictions. I think Oro has always been Midas. But now we are in a season of a primitive nature. Things have been taken back in time. Where tribal characters are worshipping statues and maybe kings? Maybe Oro, the golden skeleton king story, is going to be unveiled this season. Maybe the tribal characters are going to worship Oro as he rises from the dead into our Fortnite game. Guys, that's just a fun prediction. I'm also driving a gold car. So it's pretty fitting. So uh, I think it's fair and I think it makes sense. Guys, let me know what you think about this leak on screen right now. What do you think's going on? What is Oro going to be doing this season? What are we going to learn? I literally have not seen one player forever. Where are all the 
players. You know what it is? It's because we're like landing in uh, areas that aren't brand new. I'm out of fuel. Come on. We're not ending this video until we get in a fight. We're not ending it. Prepare for an hour long video. Don't worry. It's not going to be an hour long. Don't worry. <laughs> Ooh, okay. We are on the hunt. It is primal season, guys. Do remember, if you want to support the channel, you can use the squad creator code on the screen. Oh, also remember, follow that channel, guys. Follow the second channel. Be one of the first because I'm going to be there. Okay, that is one. KS, by the way. Oh, I killed the KS. Hey, that's what you get for kills, stealing boy. We're gonna see it as in six. Give me that gun. Oh, <laughs> Yo, I'm sick of this game. Yo, here I come, boss man. This ain't gonna work out well for you. You don't think I'll do that again? Oh, no. Oh, no! No! I see players do that all the time to me. They run at me with a big ramp and I can... I I never get that much success. Yo, is that ninja? 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 Guys, I'm gonna catch you all on the next crazy, primitive, season six, Fortnite video. Thanks, guys. Peace.